Hi, my name is Chris Rinaldi and I'll be talking about enhancers and mediators and how they function in eukaryotic gene transcription. On a section of DNA, there are sections of non-coding DNA which act as binding sites for certain proteins, such as DNA polymerase 2 at the promoter sequence. Another set of similar binding sites are known as control elements. These control elements bind proteins which help govern the expression of the gene in question. Nearest to the promoter region are units called proximal control elements. The other type, distal control elements, can be found thousands of base pairs upstream or downstream of the gene undergoing transcription. The enhancer is composed of several distal control elements grouped together. These allow for the binding of activation proteins. These activation proteins can be cis or transacting. The precise location of the enhancer and its sequence are quite flexible as they seem to function equally well when removed and reinserted elsewhere on the gene. Even reversing the enhancer's sequence does not seem to reduce its functionality. This level of redundancy is required because enhancer sequences are vital in controlling the level of expression of a great many genes and are essential to their function. After these activation proteins dock with the enhancer, the far-off control element must be brought closer to the promoter region this is accomplished through the action of a protein which effectively bends the DNA over onto itself into a sort of hairpin bend, bringing the activation proteins toward the promoter. Once at the promoter, the activation proteins bind to mediator proteins and a set of general transcription factors. Together, these help correctly assemble the transcription initiation complex and guide it into place on the promoter region. This enables faster clearance of the promoter region by the polymerase and an increased rate of transcription. For more information, please feel free to click the links in the video description. Thank you very much.